Hello. Hello. Uh, I like horror games, but I don't like playing them. <laughs> but the but the the feeling is different if you're playing them versus watching. And and I look, see, I I was gonna make a schedule for next week, right? But then I was like, I kind of don't want to put this in the schedule though, because I kind of want to do some different stuff. Um. <laughs> so and I was like, okay, why don't I just play it like right now? It's like okay. Yeah, on a Sunday night when tomorrow I have to like wake up and do stuff. Hi Sakura. <laughs> I was gonna ask Miko to like babysit me again and I was like, oh wait, no. I mean like Miko's dead on Discord. So I'm like, okay, never mind, she's probably busy. <laughs> it's fine, I can do this. <laughs> yeah, but the art style for this game was really cute, and I was like, oh, I gotta play it now. <laughs> I need to play it. It's about two friends who gets trapped on, like, some snowy mountain or something. Well, I mean, you can kind of tell, so. This game is a work of fiction. There may be contents of blood gore, disturbing imagery, and audio. Thank you, Sakura. Up, down, left, right. Oh, with arrow keys? Z or space? Confirm X. Oh, fuck. Shift? Fuck, I didn't see the rest. Oh. <clears throat> On a cold winter evening, a new family moved into the house next door. Then, a few days later, a bright doorbell echoed throughout the house. See, this is so cute. <clears throat> I quickly followed behind my mother, walking to answer the door to peek at who had been standing outside. It was the lady next door who had just moved in. The lady and my mother started talking, until she finally saw me hiding behind her mother's back, or my mother's back. She then said this, I have a son your age, but he hasn't come out of his room ever since we moved in. Could you go in there and be his friend? See, it's so wholesome, it's so wholesome. Oh, <laughs> oh this house is much bigger than I thought. The stairs coming up here are a bit too high, though. It'd be bad if anyone fell. So, that kid's in his room up there, huh? Bold of that lady to start bossing me around as soon as she saw me. <laughs> I'm the one who's gonna decide if I want to be his friend or not. What kind of kid is he anyway? Is he some kind of fairy tale princess or something? Hey, yo. Oh, I can use WASD. Okay, cool. This is really neat, though. This, like, it's, like, not 3D, but, like... Feels 3D. Wait, no. Oh, a little wonky though. <laughs> okay. Is this his room? Oh, uh huh. It's locked. Shaking ellipses. <laughs> Who's there? I don't know that voice. Ah, uh, are you the kid that's stuck in his room all day? Open the door first and I'll tell you. No, no thank you. Please, just leave. Uh, why not? Just open it, will you? Open sense of me. I'm hurt. Let's get- Oh, I don't need my cursor, right? I'm hurt. Let's kick down the door. You leave me no choice. Ah! Open sense of me! Yeah, that worked. <laughs> the door opened with a click. Oh, it did work. Seems like he felt embarrassed for you. <laughs> oh, hey, it worked. Huh? Well, are you are you crying? Are you crying because I came in here? But I just got here. Do you like being alone that much? I, I was already crying, and that isn't the reason why. What? Then why are you crying? Because I'm lonely. All my friends are back where I used to live, 
Now I have no one. No matter how hard I try, all the kids here already know each other. It's gonna be hard for me to fit in. Even if they do hang out with me, it's out of pity or adults telling them because I'm new. Oh shit, you kinda got that right. <laughs> I don't want that. You're the same, right? You only came here because my mom told you to, right? Hello. Yeah, I'm I'm having a great time torturing myself yet again with a horror game because the art style is cute. <laughs> Well, yeah. I knew it. You also feel sorry for me. But I didn't come here to try to be your friend. What? Then why? I was curious about what kind of kid you were. And from what I've seen so far, I think you're pretty lame and whiny and a bit of a scaredy crybaby. <laughs> what? You're so mean! But hey! Oh. <laughs> It's so cute! How can I not play this right now? <clears throat> I didn't say I feel sorry for you, did I? Did you just assume everyone feels the way you think they'd feel? I talked to you once, and you're already accusing me of something I've never even thought of! I think the real reason why you won't get any friends is the way you're thinking right now. Deciding what will happen in the future in your head, and never actually trying anything in the present to fix it. A nice way to make friends, yes, insult the person. <laughs> if we're worried about people being insincere when they appro- Oh, if you're worried about people being insincere when they approach you, why don't you make them be sincere then? I don't do friends just because someone told me to. So, you try and make me want to be your friend first. Don't push people away from the start, and keep working hard. People will care about you- People who care about you will always stay by your side. That's what I- that was- that- that's what I was taught anyway. <laughs> right? I mean, like, it's really wholesome right now. Uh, okay. Aww. After our rather noisy first introduction, Winnie and I soon became inseparable. Since elementary school, and even now, when we graduated high school, everyone in town knew it. us two were close. We went and did everything together. Same street, same school, same class, same lectures, same clubs, same interests, same hobbies. We were always together no matter what, to the point that sometimes it felt a little eerie. <laughs> but Winnie suddenly stopped talking to me since last winter. Huh? We haven't talked since. Ugh. I don't know what he's thinking. It's the end of July. Winnie's family is moving far away tomorrow. My parents don't know. We haven't spoken months, so... They told me to go out on a short drive with him, since today was the last day Winnie and I could properly spend our time together. You'd think you'd be in the middle of a meaningful and reminiscent conversation with your friend by now. If it was the day before you're letting someone you've known for almost your whole life leave. But the car is silent. What, what to remember? Memory 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I should probably go in order, right? But like the way they're like, oh yeah, you can like... What, 20?! <laughs> Okay, let's start with 20. Let's go backwards. Let's go. Yeah. Click the elk symbol with your mouse to investigate. Click the elk symbol. This one? Wouldn't it be too weird to start rummaging through someone's stuff without their permission? Especially if you haven't talked to that someone in almost half of a year? It'd be too awkward! I'll take a peek later or something when he's not here. Oh, okay. So the elk basically tells you, like, oh, I can click this button. and look. Ugh, I just can't sit here in silence forever. Fine. Should I say something? I'm not ready. Guess I gotta think of a conversation topic first. Are there any other elks? The elks are kind of hard to see. <laughs> okay. 
And I'm ready. So... What's with that look? Mm, it's nothing. It's just been so long. I'm surprised you talked to me first. <laughs> Go on. Why were you moving again? Who were you, the people crying outside of your house? Oh, wait! Fuck! I just realized that the memories was the fucking save slots. That's why there are 20 of them. I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot and a half! Oh my god. See, ugh, games are like... Especially indie games, they like make it cool where they're like, oh yeah, save slots aren't actually called save slots, they're like memories or scrapbooks or whatever. And I think it's actually part of a game mechanic and it's like, no, actually, you know, it's just your save. It's just your save. <sighs> okay. I realize now. Alright. Oops, I saved in 20. <laughs> Why were you moving again? Where do people crying outside of your house? Is your leg all healed? What do you mean, like, all healed? Okay, good. I'm not the only person. <laughs> only have one brain cell. Yeah, that's why we can't stream with uh, 3D camera. What? Never mind. <laughs> only one brain cell in two dimensions. <clears throat> why were you moving again? Don't you remember? I got accepted into the uni we wanted to go to. The transportation costs are high, and my parents are moving their workplace near there anyway. So we just decided to move somewhere close to where the school is. University, huh? Isn't that nice? My parents are on vacation. <laughs> mm, oh, that does make me wonder. Hey, didn't we apply to the same school together? Oh, was I the only one that ex got accepted while well, you got turned down? Oh, I don't feel bad, Augie. Augie. I'll study hard for you on your behalf. Don't call me Augie. Ugh, is he actually trying to encourage me? It just sounds like he's passively- He's just- uh, It just sounds like he's passive-aggressively showing off. So, okay, so... We both wanted to go to the same university, but for some reason we didn't get to go in to the university. Either because we didn't get in, or... Um, or, I don't know, money-related reasons. Yeah. Who are the people crying outside of your house? Ah, those were my other friends. They all came to say goodbye. So many people were crying, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I saw you get a bunch of bouquets and letters. And, ugh, last-minute confessions. <laughs> Just, when did you get this popular? You sure you want to spend your last day with me instead of your countless fans? Why? Do you not want to? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Is your leg all healed? Ah, uh, T T. Took you oh, t took you long enough to ask? <laughs> of course, I broke you last winter, right? It's been months since. Sometimes I lose strength in them, but other than that, it's all fully healed. Healed. Everything's back to normal. I never knew I'd suddenly trip down the stairs like that. And on the day of finals, too. Down the stairs? Okay. I later heard that you played my position in a game on behalf that night. Yeah, and I didn't win. You are always better at hockey than me. The audience loves you more anyway, too. So, when are you going to ask? M ask what? Wasn't all this you warming up the conversation so you can ask about that? The reason why I suddenly stopped talking to you. <laughs> you know why. <gasps> because you're an embarrassment to be around. Just by looking at the short conversation we had a moment ago, it's obvious that the difference between the two of us is incomparable. I got into the school you wanted to go to, and I have a bucket of other I have a bucket full of other friends that adore me. I've been praised and recognized by the public. There's you. What are you? What do you have? No brains, no social life, no skills. What does that make you? Trash. Trash is what you are. I pity you. Y you? Damn, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, what did you just say? Hmm? What's with that look? Say it. 
say what you just said again. Uh, okay, what's with that look? What's wrong? You're all cold all of a sudden. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> Let's just calm down and- How can I calm down when you're sitting there and treating me like walking trash? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Who do you think you are? Why do you always- Is it snowing? Yeah. But just to be clear, it's currently July, right? Oh my god. Yeah. Wow, you guys must have drove up really high. What's going on? I don't know. I was so I was too focused with talking. Uh, I was too focused on talking with you. It was just like that when I looked back at the window. Uh, shouldn't you be paying attention to the road? But outside, outside. Let's just go outside first. And the door's frozen? Oh no. Try to handle. Ugh, no matter how pull uh, how hard I pull, it just won't budge. Kick the door open. Open set the <laughs> Hold on. Fully jammed! <laughs> open sesame. Ah Open Sesame! <laughs> I, I think the car just got colder than before, Augustine. <laughs> okay, kicking. This leaves me no choice. Wait, don't tell me you're about to start kicking my- Press Z. <laughs> the door swung open. Hey, we did it. Nice job, me. Uh, we're out! Uh, uh. Wow, we really are out! Ah, sorry, sorry! Wait, I should've dodged faster. <laughs> I didn't know this was gonna be quick time events. <laughs> I was not prepared. Uh, Augustine, your outfit! Oh my god, there's also people outside. I don't know if you can hear them, but I hope you can't. Cold front. Whoa, roll the credits. What to remember. Okay, yeah, see? I'm just gonna save in memory one. Oh, okay, good. What the hell is going on? Why am I suddenly standing in the middle of a snowstorm in July? Snow in July? This really is serious. I didn't know climate change would come to be this extreme. Everyone, let's take better care of the Earth. Who are you talking to? That's not important right now. I mean, it is important, but... I guess even climate change can't just change outfits out of the blue. What? Look! Look, our clothes! Oh, it's warmer. It's the outfit we wore last winter. This is awfully convenient. At least it keeps me warm. But if it was changed for our convenience sake, something doesn't match up. Our clothes suddenly swapping doesn't... But our clothes suddenly swapping already doesn't match up. Winnie's outfit. It's not pretty. <laughs> because it isn't convenient for our eyes. Since the design is so ugly. <laughs> is my ugly is my outfit not pretty? But but I thought it'd suit me. I can't believe you didn't like it. I totally thought you would. But now I forgot what I was going to say to the shock. Stop joking around and just go already. Oh, go on already. Look, look, my clothes are much thinner in fabric than yours. You've got a cozy hat with those ear covery things, a coat, even those cute little boots, perfect for wintry outdoors. While mine are clothes I only wore indoors during winter. Mostly places like the school building. <laughs> now that you mention it. Aren't you cold? Yeah, no, I'm freezing. <laughs> you moron, get back in the car right now. But, but the door won't even close now after all the kicking you did. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Ah, this is so frustrating. Why is our- why is our outfit different? What even is this blizzard? What does this all mean? D don't panic. We gotta preserve our energy. Uh, hey, you okay? You've been shivering this whole time. Yeah, it's just so cold. Let me- 
S sit down and warm my hands a bit. Could you please ch check the car while I do that? Check for s something that might be of use, or if anything's wrong with it? Uh, can I say no if you're asking me like that? I'll be quick. Don't close your eyes. If you don't, if you do, you won't be waking up. <laughs> okay. I'll talk save. So I've been doing some thinking, and you know how winter symbolizes death in stories? What if we are dead right now? Or in a coma or something? <laughs> this would be like an afterlife. Ooh, or a purgatory. D don't ominously foreshadow stuff with such a bright look on your face. Winnie is shady and I'm scared. Save. Ooh, wonderful idea, Augie. Let's analyze our surroundings so we can understand what's going on. Who we are, where we are, what we're doing right now. Dude, I thought I was going to save. Memorize them to check if we got our heads on straight. Oh, okay, I am saving. He just monologued before I saved. Okay. Alright. You... You're you're still there, right? Okay. I don't want to turn around and like you don't know all of a sudden Winnie's gone. Fuck. Oh, everything's frozen on the inside already, huh? I need something to melt it. Something with heat. Will I be able to find it? Huh? Wait, why does it say we're all out of fuel? I swear it was almost full when I checked it before. The situation's more serious than I thought. Am I really gonna freeze to death out here? Uh, uh. Okay, so there were stuffed animals, but... What, what was that just now? I swear I just saw something. Am I seeing things? Did the cold get to me? Ah, get a grip on yourself, Augustine! Wait, this is... I don't remember him smoking. Oh, yeah. He pretended to, so he looked cool in front of the cool kids. <laughs> <laughs> when I warned him, all of them just called me a loser. The fact that he kept his means. Is he still hanging out with them? Just ignoring my worries for him, huh? What? Am I not cool enough for him? Am I really an embarrassment? Uh, anyway, the one thing I actually need. The lighter. It's not here! Where the hell did he put it? I think that's everything I need to check for now. Well, I mean, if he if he doesn't actually smoke, he just does it for pretend. He wouldn't have a lighter, right? Or I don't know, whatever. Why is this all? Of, why is all of this suddenly happening? Suddenly happening to me? It's enough to. It's enough torture as it is having to spend time with. Eee! What? When he? Oh no. Wait, are you okay? Oh, uh, bro. What's going on? What happened? Uh, my hands are freezing. Then why were you building a snowman with your bare hands? No, no, no. That, that's not all there is to why I screamed. Though it is a teeny part of it. Uh, when you were still investigating the car, I... I saw an ominous shadow moving in the distance through the storm. Uh, an ominous shadow? Yeah, yeah, it really scared me. So, I made this little snow friend to calm my mind. Cute, right? Say hi to him. Say hi? <laughs> Why didn't you call me? Ruin the snow- No! Let's say hi. He's not gonna leave me alone if I don't play along. Uh, so, um... Hi there, snowman. You can't just call him that, you gotta call, you gotta call him by his name. What? You even named him? What is it? Augustine! <laughs> Why is it my name? Wouldn't that just be confusing? Then you could be Augustine too! Why am I too? Anyway, I don't think we should stay here much longer. I have a bad feeling. So, how about you? Did you find anything? It says the fuel's all out, so the, pro the car probably won't move. And we'll need a heat source for the frozen parts inside. Couldn't find a lighter. Oh, that. I left it in my room somewhere. Since it's impossible for us to get there now, 
Let's look for something else. Ugh. Then that means nothing will change even if we stay by the cars, so... We have no choice but to walk forward. Our number one priority is to find shelter, plus heat and fuel. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Oh my god. I think, honestly, okay, so Winnie comes off as like extremely suspicious, right? Because of him like bashing us before and then being like, what? I didn't say anything, <laughs> right? I don't know, I feel like... But I, I have like this like, you know, what I call um, sense of trust in him that's like not justified trust. <laughs> Because of the little intro part when he was like, man, people so insincere, you know, or like people just want to be my friend because other people told him to be my friend and stuff like that. And then now he's like at that stage where he's like trying his best to fit in, even though he doesn't really agree with the things he's doing to try to fit in. At least that's what I see in Augustine's perspective, like Augustine's description, at least. But I don't know. Or maybe here's my here's my conspiracy theory. Okay, I think maybe um, the scary faced Winnie that we saw before in the car, right, where he was like, "Man, Augustine, you really are boring," and like, uh, and blah 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 blah, and piece of trash, right? Was actually just Augustine hallucinating that like he didn't actually say it, but Augustine's like, he like his mind is like playing a trick on him. It's like. If you know how there's like that cliche where you look in the mirror and then your your reflection says like of all the bad stuff about you back to your face, right? I feel like it's that, but like instead of that, it's like Winnie that's saying it to him. That's my conspiracy theory. <laughs> yes, exactly. What do you mean befriend the killer? No, I just I have blind trust because of the opening sequence. I I think. Besides, it's usually- killer is usually someone unexpected, and if they're making Winnie seem so apparently sus, then it's gotta be not him, right? Wait, no, nobody's dead! What do you mean killer? <laughs> My brain is so huge. It's Augustine! <laughs> Why aren't you putting on a, a two on there? I'm the original! <laughs> Check the car. Okay, it won't let me. Hey. Right. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Smile, smile, we've got this. We can do this. Go, go, go! Woo Stop hyping this up and just go. Oh. This walk is slow. He seems to be very cold. Damn, if we were like boyfriends or something, I would give you my jacket, but I don't think we're at that comfortable relationship yet. He is really slow. Yeah, see, I don't I don't want to walk too fast and like leave him behind, so we'll just inch with him, I guess. Uh, he's too slow! This leaves me no choice. Go talk to him. And do that. Do what? <laughs> Do what? Alright, get on my back. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah! You obviously can't walk because of the cold. I'll carry you. Y you sure? You don't have to overdo it. Since when did you care about that? I said it's fine. Stop wasting any more time, and- But if I trouble you, you'll- I got this. I can lift you up easy, and- I said, I don't need it. What, don't want to trash like me carrying you around? That'd be too embarrassing for you? It's not like that. Why do you keep talking that way? Why do you keep talking like- Oh, fine, whatever. It's my fault for asking. Oh, okay, now we're walking at the same pace, okay. Oh no, not the pixelated blood. Not the sound effects. That that can't be. Is that blood? Why does it look like it's been dragged on the floor? Okay, well let's stay far away. Oh. Huh? That, that's... 
us. Oh. <laughs> Investigation time. A dead body that looks like a young ver younger version of me. Frozen to death, covered in snow and blood. There's a deep scratch wound across the chest as if it was attacked by something sharp. It's holding hands with a body that looks like a younger version of Winnie. <sighs> Who do we murder in Minecraft? No! <laughs> a dead body that looks like a younger version of Winnie. Frozen to death, covered in snow and blood. There's multiple stab wounds on its stomach, as if it was pierced by something sharp. Okay, so we have a... So... The wounds are different. We were sliced, scratched. Winnie was... Poked a bunch of times. Okay. It's holding hands with a body that looks like a younger version of me. Ugh! What the hell is going on? Sudden snowstorm, almost freezing to death? And now I have to look at my own dead body? This is all just a prank you set up, right? Tell me this is just a sick prank to mess with me. Because. Because there's, there's just no way out of all of this is real. I can't believe it. You're really telling me there's something here with us that can cause those ter cause those terrible wounds? No, let's let's be positive. Body's looking at the body's looking like us is totally freaking me out. But seeing how it's right off the middle of our paths, maybe it's a sign, a very personalized and terrifying "don't go this way" sign. <laughs> there still must be time for us to turn back. It's not like whatever attacked them is standing right behind us. Why would you say that? Oh! Oh! <gasps> eh? Did I fuck up? How did I fuck up? Wait. Continue. Wait. No, I I screwed up. What? <laughs> that was fast. Wait, but it saved here. I didn't save at this part, though. Head body that looks like a younger version of Winnie. Really does come in smell and blood. Also stab wounds on his stomach as it was pierced by something. Speed run to the main menu. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the end of the stream, guys. <laughs> so many hands. Okay. Uh. Maybe I check Winnie first and then myself? That's the only other... What the hell is going on? Sun snowstorm almost freezing to death. Now I'm looking at my own dead body. So some prank you set up, right? Tell me this is just a sick prank to mess with me. Because there's just no way out this is real. There's some heroes in the town. Be positive, the body's looking at a swimming figure, but seeing us right on the middle of the path, maybe it's a sign. Very personalized and terrifying, don't go this way, sign. Still must be time for us to turn back. It's not like whatever attacked them is standing right behind us, but it is. Press Z. Oh, I didn't press Z! That's why! I <laughs> I was scared and I looked away! That's why we died! Okay. Damn it. <laughs> How dare you put a how dare you put a quick time event with a jump scare? I can't do this. Okay, okay, okay. I understand now. All right. <clears throat> oh boy, we got to go through this dialogue again. Yeah. <laughs> It's a prank you set up, right? Tell me this is just a prank prank. See how it's right now. Skill issues. Look away. Maybe it's a sign. A very personalized hair prank. Don't go this way, sign. It must be time for us to turn back. It's not like whatever time is doing right behind us. Yes, there we go. Back. Oh, back off! We're able to buy a time. 
by showing the creature the, by shoving the creature back with your bag. I don't know if there are gonna be quick time events. Okay, I've got my finger on Z now. You just had to jinx it! That's what I said. Why are you standing around for? Oh, what are you standing around for? Run! Oh my god. Alright, yes, let's go. Wait, what? I can't go anywhere. Why am I running? That's oh! Bro! Okay, okay. Alright, we're running forward. We're running forward. Okay. Run, 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 I swear I can I've I've played games before. I just realized is that a moose but like with a bear inside its mouth? <laughs> the death count No, no no no. What Did I not move enough? I okay, I can't. Okay, I can do it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, no, come on! What am I doing wrong? I am pressing forward. Should I use the arrow keys instead of WASD? It's not like it should make that much of a difference, right? No, wait, I forgot I forgot the train to <laughs> Yeah, check back later. Check back on the stream later. Leave right now. I'll- I'll- I'll finish it in- What? I have an inventory. What? Press the wrong button. Oh fuck. What? What am I- am I- I'm just bad at arrow key maneuvering? We are we running really, really slow. Or something. <laughs> Why is this hard? I don't understand. Wait, it didn't even show up! It didn't show up! It didn't even show! What am I supposed to do? Oh, it's because I, I started walking before the whole thing is loaded. Okay, I'll just- I'll keep my hands off. Okay. Patience is a virtue. And patience while running away from Moose might not seem like the idea, ideal, but... Okay. Oh! Ah! Oh, Winnie? No, no! Sorry, I tripped a little. I'll be fine, so you should. Don't you pull that sacrifice card, just get up already! You pulled Winnie up. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh, thank you, thank you, you saved me. Shut up, we're not out of this yet. There's nowhere to hide with how flat and wide this field is. It's impossible to drive it away. And we're gonna be out of breath any second now, because of this goddamn snowstorm. What the hell do we do? Wait, wait, Augie! I've got a plan, hear me out! The floor we're standing on right now, I think it's ice! If we slam our foot down hard enough, we can make it crack! We can guide the monster to come towards our direction, and on its way to us, it'll step on the crack. And with the ice not being able to handle its weight, the monster will fall right in the water. Are you insane? What if we fall in too? Do you have a better idea? Uh, no. Exactly! We'll get caught if we waste any more time, come on! I got it, don't tell me what to do. Well, let's stop at it at the same time. Ready? One, two... Ice cracked. We did it! Okay. Alright, cool. Easy peasy. 
Yes, it's working! It's going down! Wait, the crack's spreading wider than I thought it- Oh no. What up? Oh, he's seen! Oh my god. <laughs> gotcha! I knew it! I knew we might have messed up in this somehow! What did I tell you? Oh, how deep is this hole? It's basically a cliff! What the hell is going on with this place? It just doesn't make sense. Alright, pull me up, hurry! Oh. Winnie. Winnie? I get steam. Winnie? Oh, Winnie? Oh, um, what, what, what should I, what should I do? Oh, I, I can't feel my hands. I can't put any strength in them, it's all frozen. I feel like my fingers are going to fall off at any second. I, I can't, I can't pull you up. I'm trying, but it just won't let me. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, don't. Don't do that. Don't you do that with me. You think this is funny? I'm, it's not. I'm, I'm being serious. Stop joking around and pull me up. I, I'm not. It's not a joke. I wish it was, but it's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying, but no matter how hard I try to hold on, it just can't. Don't let go. Please don't let go. I'm your friend. We're friends. We are friends, right? Winnie? No, my my conspiracy theory still holds up. My conspiracy theory. I have my blind trust. That's my biggest fear if I'm ever in like a life or death situation. Is that like, holy shit, like I don't work out. I have no upper body strength. Like what happens if I'm dangling from a cliff or I'm trying to pull somebody up and I literally can't do it because I don't have any strength in my arms. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. We live. Ugh. 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 Oh, am I still? My leg. It hurts. I can't get up. I can't freeze to death here. I, I can't go out like this. Not because of him. Get up. Get up. Move. Move. Move! Move already! Yay, life! You got it. Cold. Cold, 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 cold. Cold, it's too cold. I never knew a person could ever feel this cold. Everything hurts. I'm being stabbed. The cold is piercing me. Oh, I probably won't be able to get up next time I fall. Huh? Why are we indoors? Of course everything is frozen, too. Oh, there's snow. It's indoors. Oh, wait. This is the hallway of his house. Why here? It, is he somehow connected to why all of this is happening? Ugh. Just thinking about him makes my head hurt. Uh, for now, I need heat. Heat, heat, heat. Anything warm, hot, literally anything. Th that's right, th the lighter. He said it's somewhere in his room. Oh, right. Okay. By the way, there was this other room that we did not check the other time. Okay, just kidding. It's locked. Uh, uh huh? No, no, why? Why is it locked? No, 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 please. Why, why? Why, 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 why now? If I would, I'd kick it open. I don't have the strength this time. Key, I need to find the key. I'm losing my senses. I need to find it quick. Okay. This room? Oh, what the? This is a washing machine. I see a little lighter here. What? Empty, not helpful at all. <sighs> oh my god! Come on! Oh. Did, did 
should we put these up? <laughs> Remember to smile and work hard, muscle. <laughs> Remember, take stuff out of your pocket before putting them in the washer. I keep forgetting <laughs> to do. Take the keys, return books, ask Augustine about the stairs. <laughs> We're friends, right? Well, looking at these pathetic pieces of paper be helpful. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Well, if we're talking colors, it's yellow, red, green, orange. Okay. I need to take a shit. Taking a shit will make me feel warmer. Huh? The police! Quick, get down! <laughs> what? Why are there lights coming from under the water? Is that an ambulance siren? Oh. Why is it so distant? I don't get it. Probably relating to when he fell down the stairs? Oh my god. Is there anything else here? Elk is gone. Where the hell is the key? on the mirror. Oh, remember to take stuff out of your pocket? But maybe he left the keys in one of his clothes when putting them in the washer again. Wouldn't hurt to check. Hmm? I knew it. There's definitely something in- <gasps> What the hell is this? What is this? A zipper on its back. Is this a fake bodysuit that looks like me? No, it's a hallucination, but why why me? Why me in here? In his house. For, for now, keys. I need to focus on the keys. He took the keys from his pocket. <gasps> why? Why? Why would you do that? Don't do that to me. The door was open with a click. Yes, is it this is it? Okay. <laughs> uh, why is it so dark? I can't see anything. Oh no, that's the worst. The lighter, where's the lighter? I guess we moved around the room with arms reached out. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. And soon you suddenly feel something in your grasp. I did it. I found it. And you light up the room. Oh no, I don't want to see. It's gonna show me something. I don't want to see it. Oh! What? What is all this? It's just him? Th those are all... But this is his room! Why, why am I in his... I don't know, man. Aren't you friends since, like, high school? I mean, since, like, kindergarten to high school. Even the furniture looks alike. Me? Oh, I get it now. I knew it was suspicious how we were always stuck together. That bastard used me like I was his own for his own advantage. Like I'm an object he put in his room. Like I'm his clothes he can wear whenever he liked. To act like me, to copy me. What? He applied to the same university as soon as he learned what school I wanted to go to. He started acting nice and got a confession out of someone who I already liked before. He suddenly got interested in an award I was already working to get. He was recognized for it. He even got into ho the hockey team I was part of since I was young, stole my position, and played in a game I was supposed to 
and won. Stealing all the attention from everyone, even from my close friends, who I knew before he came along. Everywhere I go, everything I do, everyone that I meet, every time I wanted something, he always shows up and... Steals, replaces, ruins everything from my life. This does feel sketchy. And leaves me with nothing. Now that I truly have nothing left, now that he's already stolen everything from me, he starts ignoring me, talking down on me, pities me, and now... He must be trying to get rid of me for good! To throw me away like a piece of useless trash. To get rid of any evidence of how he used me. That's right, I was always suspicious of him. I always hated him. I don't know how he did it, but everything that's happened from the moment I got out of his, got out of his car is probably his fault too. Yeah, all of this must be his fault. He's trying to hunt me down. Augustine? What? Augustine, is that you? Huh? It really is you. So you were here. I was so worried. I'm glad you're safe. Y you. How did you? Well, this place hasn't been really been. Uh, this place hasn't been really realistic so far. But I couldn't hear anything after you fell down that hole. So I knew something else must have happened to you instead of. So I followed you in. I fell, and now I'm here. Oh my god. I don't know why this place looks like my house though. Oh, and while I was going around looking for you, Winnie held up a gas tank. I found some fuel. Anyway, are you okay? Are you hurt? Found the lighter. Lighter? That's great! Now that we're both safe again, since we both looked around this floor, we should go downstairs. I'll wait for you outside. What's this on the table? Can I check this? I love the oh. <laughs> perspective. Okay, well. Alright, let's go outside then. It's probably fine. If he was able to come down here, and seeing how I survived after falling down, there's a chance that monster is also still around. Down here is the stairs to the first floor. So he's thinking of pushing him, right? This bastard, he's, he's probably planning something to get rid of me again. Yeah, just like how he tried to with that hole earlier. I need to You strike him first. Do I have to? I have the feeling that I'm not supposed to. Push when you down? No. Yes. I think my my conspiracy theory, my conspiracy theory must I have blind trust in it. Snap out of it, Augustine. Are you okay? You're sweating bullets, and what's with this scary expression on your face? You keep talking to yourself and accusing me of something I've never said. I called your name multiple times now, and I didn't even answer. Can't go on like this. Augustine, I, I have something to ask you. When I fell down the stairs last winter, I saw you. I know you didn't push me. I know I fell because I accidentally tripped myself. I know that. But I knew you were at a distance where, if you wanted, you could have easily reached out and stopped me from falling. When I was lying on the floor about to pass out, I also heard the footsteps of someone leaving the area. And I heard that someone else called the ambulance other than you. I... that's... But despite it all, I didn't feel resentful or enraged. I just felt... 
confused. I think that was the first time I started seriously reflecting on our relationship. All along, I thought we were best friends, but since then, I realized you might have thought of us differently. It felt like a wake-up call. Ever since then, I was paranoid about how you'd feel about me. I thought you hated me. I thought you didn't want to see me ever again. I was scared. I didn't know what to do or what to say, so I started distancing myself from you. But that didn't solve anything. It just made our relationship worse. What we need is... Conversation. Yes, please. <laughs> An honest conversation. Nothing will change if we just shut ourselves from one another. I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. I'm not going to blame you for anything that's happened. So just talk to me. Tell me everything if you don't. I'll never know until the day I die. If you don't, if you don't, I'll never know until the day I die. Therapy, yes. <laughs> Couples therapy. Augustine, t tell me how you feel. moment I heard the words, tell me how you feel, I have forgotten all my suspicion, my hatred, my hate, fear of winning. Oh, <laughs> And nothing but all the feelings I've been bottling up for all these years were left in me, which started to helplessly flood out in the most unsightly way possible. I- I- I love you, man, no. <laughs> Envy you for succeeding, and I'm scared of what will happen to me in the future because of it. I know I'm supposed to feel happy for you. I know I'm supposed to celebrate your success by your side. I know I'm being selfish. I know I'm being overly emotional. I know that's more than I know that more than anyone. I know I'm being pathetic. I know that I know that, but I just can't help it. Whenever I see you, I can't help but think you stole everything from me. Whenever I start something, you suddenly start copying me, and then take it away from me. It wasn't just once or twice, but every single time. Didn't you soon master at what I wanted to do? Making you loved and recognized? Covering me behind your massive shadow? Burying everything I've done so far in the ground, taking away everyone that I wanted to impress? Having everyone's attention and fortune heading towards you? And now that you're adored by everyone? You must have felt embarrassed for having to call nobody like me your friend. No talent, no social life, no skills. Now all I have left is the fact that I'm your friend. But you have so much more in life than me. You won't need me anymore. So I thought, I thought you were getting rid of me. I was terrified. I was terrified of you. Is that really how you felt all this time? Seen, I'll never leave you. There's nothing in this world that can replace you. You're my hero. I looked up to you ever since we met. I was able to be the way I am now because you inspired me with how bright and friendly you were. I was able to feel at ease no matter where I went or what I did because I had a friend like you with me. I think that's why I kept following you around. Because I didn't want to leave your side. But now I realized there are some there are still things not even a friend should do there's a line that not even a friend should cross. I crossed that line way too many times up until now, huh? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I should have respected your line. I should have thought about how you feel. I should have put myself in your shoes. But I was too blinded by admiration back then that I couldn't see that you were the you were my one and only friend before my hero. It should have been it must have been so frustrating. It must have been so upsetting. You don't have to forgive me. I know apologizing now won't change the past. I just want you to know this. You're the coolest and brightest person I've ever met in my whole life, Augustine. And I was only able to do all the things I've accomplished so far because you encouraged me back then. Because you gave me hope. You work hundreds, thousands, million times harder than me. I remind myself every day how lucky I am to have ever met a friend like you. What do you mean you have nothing? You're someone who can take over the entire world if you wanted to. You're amazing like that. Thank you for trusting me and telling me the truth. Uh, now I get it. It wasn't Winnie that was hurting me. The real hunter was... myself. 
already deciding what was going to happen in the future, what other people will think of me in my head, blaming others for all the misfortunes in my life, not trying hard enough in the first place and justifying that by saying someone who's skilled than me or popular, more popular than me will come along and take all the glory away. Anyway, it was all me. Even though Winnie stayed the same, I was too blinded by my own jealousy and insecurity that no matter what he said or did, I distorted the truth. Didn't even try to talk to him properly and decided he was only out to ignore me or out to hurt me. Interpreting him the way I feared and believed in the lies and believed in the lies I told myself to justify hating him. I was at fault all along. Ugh. <laughs> It's not true. I'm not as great as you think I am. You've always been a good friend. You always were. I was a fool ever to have ever taken it the wrong way. I'm sorry. I never should have let you get hurt. You're way more important than my pride. What was I ever thinking? How could I have been so childish? I'm stupid. I'm ashamed. Hey, we can call it even now since I didn't let you fall into that giant hole earlier. Since I did let you fall apart. But is it really okay to brush this off that simply? <laughs> Aw, hug it out, you two. Augustine. Or fist bump it out, I don't know. Or friends, right? I don't think I deserve you. If you're okay with it, I'd love for you to be my friend. But then. Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, oh, you see. hear it. So, Augie, remember that... Remember the we're already dead theory I told you? I've been doing some more thinking about that, and... You know how people say a person sees their life flash before their eyes? When they're about to die or they're seriously injured? What if this is that? The situation we're in now is the flashback. Well, for us, it isn't just us watching the flash like a movie. We're actually experiencing it. Reliving it, even. But... That means we're about to die in real life. I did hear an ambulance sirens go off a few moments ago, but wait, then where are we now? Probably an important memory that we constantly look back to. A memory that impacted our lives the most? Oh, and another thing. Don't people usually see these flashbacks on their own? But look at us, we're sharing it. I think this is because the memories we're, think we're thinking of are the exact same. What, uh, what were some of the memories you think that impacted you deeply in life? Uh, meeting you and seeing you fall last winter. Mine too! Our first introduction and the first time the crack in our relationship was visibly shown. So the reason why it's suddenly winter now is... And why our clothes are suddenly changed. And why this place looks like your house. It's because we're in a mixed memory of the winter when we first met, and the winter when I fell. The house is not the same way when my family first moved in, and our clothes are what we were wearing on the day I fell. You're in indoor wear since you were inside the school. You're in outdoor wear since you were leaving the building. Oh, this is hurting my head. So what you're saying is, we're currently in a coma and are in critical condition. Probably because of a car accident or something. And our consciousness are trapped in a mixed memory of the winter when we met and when you fell down the stairs? Wow, you summarized that perfectly. Who cares about that? How do we get out of here alive? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. This is a flashback of an important memory that we look back on often, right? Because of regret, because it deeply impacted our lives. If that's why we're having this flashback, if we get rid of our regret, get rid of the thing that's mentally hunting us, 
the thing that keeps making us look back to this memory. Maybe we'll snap back out to the present instead of the past. Back to reality. Back to reality. Oh, the ghost grab. Since no regret means no looking back. But by the thing that's haunting us, you mean? Yeah, I think that monster represents our unhealthy relationship the past few years. It looks like two different animals were forcefully mixed together. Oh, yeah. Now that you say, I was, I was confused because it looked like the deer was eating a bear or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like it was in tremendous pain. It's suffering. If we defeat that creature, I'm sure it'll mean that. Our relationship is restored. Our regrets will be gone. Because we got rid of what was making us suffer. We solved it. We can escape the flashback. Uh, Alright, let's do it then. I trust you. Okay! No, no need to get that cheerful over it. So, how do we defeat it? We have almost our... You all? And... The lighter. <laughs> our sin. Are you thinking... Thinking? Oh, oh boy. Oh, speak of the devil. Well, I really hope it isn't the devil. Yippee, how convenient for us. All right, tell me when you're ready. Well, I mean, not much else to do, right? Wait, hold on, actually. I'm gonna go look at Steve's stuff. No, it's still the same. Okay, th this doesn't update. Walk okay, out down the stairs. Let's just go. All right, let's go. Alrighty, I'll splash the guy with fuel as soon as I see him. Then I turn on the lighter and chuck it. Yeah. Yeah, I love it when we finish each other's sentences. Let's go then to the first floor. We got this. We got this. Yeah, there it is. Where? Right there. There. I don't see it! Oh, wow, it's looking right at us! Get the fuel, do it! Wait, it looks kinda cute once you get used to stop messing around and pour the damn full fuel now! <laughs> yeah! Now, Augie! Okay. Look, Z. Okay. Got it! We did it. We did it! We really did it! Oh, that was so cool right now, Augie! Oh, the way you threw that tank was way more cool. Then we were both cool, huh? <laughs> now that we got rid of the monster, what's our next move? Oh, yes, yes, our next move. About that. I didn't think this far ahead, actually. <laughs> you what? Maybe we let ourselves burn here, too. We'll somehow wake back in the real world? That doesn't sound very comforting. If I die, I'm going to kill you. Hehehe. <laughs> uh, did we actually burn to get back? Ugh. Ugh. Why is everything upside down? This is the car. Is that siren ambulance, huh? Winnie! Where's Winnie? Winnie? Wow, so my theory was right! The car crashed coma trip, isn't this cliche? <laughs> oh my god, I'm glad it wasn't the bridge if we were already dead. Now that would have been troubling. How can you smile at a time like this? But You're smiling too. Aww. We had lost consciousness after this sudden crash. We found ourselves waking up in the overthrown car. We were transferred to the hospital as soon as we were found. After our checkup, the results showed that despite the severity of the accident, Winnie only suffered minor injuries, like small bruises. Never fails to surprise me, that guy. Compared to him, I... I fractured my left leg. <laughs> I didn't feel upset, though. It was only fair. This made us even. Winnie's move was pushed back after the incident. accident. For almost the whole summer, he stayed by my side so that I, so that I could recover faster. Oh, you too. Oh, sudden blizzard, the icy field, the monster we faced. 
We're still not sure if what we experienced was a dream, a hallucination, or indeed a flashback that Winnie talked about. But one thing's for sure. Because of what we went through, Winnie and I were finally able to have an honest conversation. For the first time ever since we met, we became best friends. <laughs> oh. Eventually, Winnie left. Came here, right? Though Winnie isn't by my side anymore. Aww. Aww. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'll be alone. Yeah, right? I love it when horror games turn out to be wholesome. <laughs> Aww. Yay! Now, um, actually, so the creator of this game um, said that it was made for. Shoot, I forgot exactly what it was, but it was some, like, indie game competition where your challenge was to make a game within a month so it's probably um that's probably why it's like a little bit simple i would say it's a bit short is what i think right you know it's like only an hourish long so like that explains why like there's like com like a couple reused assets and stuff but uh but like, despite that, it's still like a really good game, like the story and everything, and the topics that it talks about, it's sort of kind of like, oh, like it's my best friend, but like I kind of feel um, jealous, envious of them, um, but I'm well, I'm supposed to feel like happy or excited. I feel like that's like, that's definitely a thing that happens to everyone, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, I'm like, uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, congratulations, even though, like, I kind of, you know, kind of jealous of you. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be like that. But it's, it, it was, it was cool, though, it was cute. Yeah. Um. Oh, right. They also said that there are two endings to this game, which... Um, I feel like it's kind of obvious, so like, you either push Winnie down the stairs, or you don't push Winnie down the stairs. And I think, and this is my, um, uh, what is it called? Again, educated guess, yes, this is my educated guess, but I think if you don't, if you push Winnie down the stairs, then when you wake up from the coma, Winnie's probably not alive. <laughs> or something like that, you know, like a Nanako situation. Right, and then you know, because they did have like a warning for gore and stuff, so they probably it's probably like a gory jump scare of like a dead Winnie. Yeah, um, I do not want to get that ending because I like I like things to stay happy endings. Yes, but I am um, morbidly curious, so I'm gonna go watch someone else get the ending. <laughs> It's probably on YouTube, right? I'm trying to find... Trying to find one that is like... You know... That doesn't have people talking. Okay, I think this is good. <laughs> All right. Uh, where's my window capture? My incognito browser. Let's go. All right. Well, this is the entire game. We can just skip through to the uh, here. 
Miko, you missed the cool parts! Man, you're gonna have to VOD later. <laughs> we already finished the game, it's a short one, it's like an hour long. And now we're just looking at the bad ending. Okay. Okay, push him. Oh god. I gave myself the floor for the first time. <gasps> I might have wished for him to just die right then and then. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. It is. It totally is. Oh my god. Okay, you can watch it. I'm gonna avert my eyes. <laughs> or like, put a hand on the thing so I could read the text but not really see the image. Oh, okay. It's not as- it's not as gory. Okay. Okay, we're all fine. <laughs> Are we fine? Are we? <gasps> Augustine! Oh my god, Augustine. Couldn't have done anything. It wasn't me who caused the accident anyway. I was passed out when he died. Could have ever changed his outcome. Death has nothing to do with me. Compared to him, I was able to get off with only a few minor wounds and bruises. The evil grin, yeah, right? I was in the centuries of everyone's attention ever since. You were right, it must have been scary. Don't don't tell me he's like, oh yes, the attention I've always wanted. Oh my god. Augustine. It's lonely, right? You're sad, right? Tell us anytime if you need anything. We'll be here for you. No one is looking for him anymore. They only care about me. They only compliment me. They only worry about me. They only recognize me. Just me. Me, me, me. Just me. Finally, now that he's gone, I'm not alone. My God. Oh, and then this is just their transition to the true ending. Okay. Damn. What the? <laughs> oh shit. Augustine really is the bad guy. Wow. <laughs> I thought, like, I thought, like, bad and he would be like, man, I'm such a dick, you know? But, like, no, he, like, he truly believed Winnie was crazy. Damn. Well, I'm glad I didn't do that. <laughs> Usually bad endings kind of make you feel like you're an asshole, you know, because you picked their own choices, but, like, I feel like if someone like really misinterpreted the story, they could get that bad ending and be like, Oh, I did it! <laughs> I defeated the evil! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Well, yeah, this was a kind of a short stream, but the game was kind of short, so... That's just how it be. Thank you for watching. Um... And I'll probably come out with a proper schedule this week. And then s stick with that. <laughs> going forward instead of just randomly streaming at times so yeah all right thank you good night <laughs>